What is up, lovebirds? It's your boy Vino, and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, today is my entry into the Love Potion 2022 Challenge with a little something I like to call the Spanish Fly. That's right, folks. You saw the hip action there. These hips don't lie. My Latino ass is bringing you a cocktail with a little bit of tequila, a little bit of mezcal, and a whole lot of that Latin sexiness. So make sure you stick around, because we're going to boogie down. All right, folks, so like I said, today I'm making something called a Spanish fly, and it is my entry into the Love Potion 2022 challenge. If you want to know some details about the challenge, look down in the description, and it'll all be there, all right, folks? Anyway, look, let's get into what's in the sauce, all right? We are going to be using two ounces of a tequila blanco. Now, you want to use blanco, so you make sure you get as much of that red color as possible. Um, so this cocktail is going to be a little bit on the, like, you know, kind of maroon brick red type of color <laughs> not bright red or not pink all right folks anyway now we're going to be doing a three quarter an ounce uh, cherry herring um you want to make sure you use cherry herring not just any cherry liqueur i always find that this delivers the best cherry flavor for the bang all right folks and uh bang no pun intended my friends or maybe it was bang, bang, bang. But uh, it's a quarter ounce of creme de cacao because we got some of that chocolate flavor. Here we go. All righty. And then we are going to do an ounce of lime juice. And this is going to help balance some of the sweetness from the creme de cacao and the cherry herring. All right. Beautiful. Like I said, I think I said, this is a bit of a, it's kind of a mezcal riff. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, tequila riff, all right? Now we're gonna do a, a dash of chocolate bitters just to bring out a little more of those chocolate flavors, a little chocolate love, and some cherry flavors with a, one dash of cherry bitters. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some ice to my shaker. Okay, now we're gonna give this a shake for a good 10, 15 seconds, all right? All right, folks, I think we gave that a nice, healthy shake. I'll push this thing to the side here. Now we're gonna take our glass out, which I had chilling like a villain in my ice there. Now, what I wanna do, because the Latin love, a Spanish fly, you know, the whole thing is very sexy, very steamy, very hot, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do a little mezcal rinse, right? I got some mezcal here. You can do it in the glass with a little pour like this, but I like to spray it in there. One, two, three. Ah, smoke it. All right, folks, so there is our mezcal rinse. So now we've added some smokiness to our cocktail. Let's go ahead and pour it into the glass. I got my double strain that bad boy. All right, so there we go, folks. All right, so like I said, we're gonna have a little bit of a more of a maroon, a little more of a brick color, a deep, dark, Lusty red, I guess that's what you want to call it. You know, just a stain theme. <laughs> anyway, then we're gonna garnish that with a little chocolate cherry here. There it is, folks. Our Spanish fly cocktail. All right, folks, let's go ahead and give our little Spanish fly cocktail a sippy sip. Like I said, right in the nose, it, you know, you got that scent of the mezcal, um, the cherries too. Oh man, it smells really good. Oh, that's delicious. I mean, listen, if you love tequila, if you love margaritas, I mean, and if you love cherry, I mean, you're gonna love this. I mean, this is a beautiful cherry margarita, basically. I mean, of course, we've replaced, we've replaced the orange liqueur with some cherry brandy, threw in a little bit of chocolate cacao there, or the uh, creme de cacao, and you get this beautiful, beautiful arrangement of flavors. The, the chocolate's on the back end, which is really nice. It adds a little bit of those kind of bitter notes and stuff like that, but Oh, this is a nice cocktail, guys. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, listen, so if you're looking to get the mood right, you pop one of these bad boys in front of your lover and tell them happy Valentine's Day. Tell them happy Valentine's Day from Vino and, uh, you know, have yourself a white, a very romantic, beautiful night together. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this cocktail. Remember, there's a bunch of other folks out there that uh, made some of these too, so just check out the hashtag love potion 2022 go down in the description i will put a playlist together of all the videos that are so far done on youtube and there'll be stuff on instagram as well um, and remember folks if you like this video please press like please subscribe and please share with your family and friends remember sharing is caring 
And what better time to share than Valentine's Day, right? Am I right or am I wrong? Anyway, that's it. That's all I got for you. Let me shut up and, uh, and let you guys get to getting busy, all right? <laughs> anyway, folks, remember, when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.